Heather here. Today we are going to be coloring the super cute whimsy stamp image called Skippy D and Bella. If you haven't already grabbed yourself a kit, head over to the store and pick one up. Remember they are limited. You don't want to wait if this is something you want. You want to grab one right away. I'll put a link down in the description box. I would love for you to come over to the store and check it out and grab a few things and make sure to always check out the clearance section because I'm constantly going through there adding new stuff. I need to make room in my little store room that I keep stuff in and there's just no more room in there. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound Solarite cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Alright, so I'm going to start out by outlining my image with B quadruple zero. And I did, after I got her all colored, I took my Ranger Tumble Glass Distress Ink and I um, put some blue out here in the sky so that um, it would be a nice, pretty blue color. But I had started out with my B quadruple zero so I wouldn't have to worry about getting so close to her. So I'm just going to do a quick outline all the way around my girl here, and I'm just going to go right over the top of that little scarf tassel things. And this way if I do it first too and I get some on her and I'm worried about it, I can erase it. I don't usually worry about it if I color on her. It's, it's such a light color that the color I'm going to use next will go right over the top of it. Unless it's white and then I'm, I'm going to leave it white, then I would um, erase it with my colorless blender. And go down here and back down to the other side of this little log she's sitting on like that. Quick and easy. Next I'm going to take my G24 and I'm going to color in this little leaf that's on this stick here that she's sitting on. And then she has um, a couple of blades of grass down here that I'm just going to go right over the top of like so. And same for over here. And that's all I did to it. I left the rest of this down here white um, to leave it snow. Now let's go down here and do her face and color her skin and her cheeks. For that we're going to use E11, E21, E00, E000. For our cheeks I'm going to use R43, R20, and R30. I'm going to start with my E11 and I'm going to add some shadows underneath of her bangs. I'm just going to do a quick little line with just the tip of my pen underneath of her hair here. And I think I'll go down the side of her face over here just a little bit. Like that. Next I'm going to grab E21 and I want to finish up this side so I'm going to go ahead and add some shadows on this side of her face. And then we want to go right over the top of that line we just laid down and brush it just a little bit. Okay, and then I wanted to give her a little bit of a nose. So I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to try to angle it so that it starts at the little curve she's got for her nose and it comes up here towards her um, eyebrow. So I'm just going to lightly go like this. So it kind of connects up there. It doesn't go all the way to her eyebrow, but I just made it look like it kind of connected. Same with this side. She's got a little bit of her eyebrow showing, so I'm just going to kind of use that as my guide and follow that line up there to that. Okay. Just make that a little bit darker there. Next, I'm going to go with my E00 pin, and we want to soften the edges of this. And I didn't go all the way up to her eye when I was coloring her. Oops. And that's actually going to be her lip here later, but that's okay. This is such a light color you won't notice. So when I went, when I was cutting the color here, when I got to her pupil, I didn't go clear up to it. I'm going to leave a little bit of white space. And then we want to go down the side of her eye, of her nose right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go and add a look at this side. 
and then I'm going to take my E triple zero and go over this little section I made for her nose there. And I'm not worried that it looks blotchy because I'm going to go over it again. I'm going to add some cheek color though. So for now I'm going to grab R43 and let's do cheeks. And then R20, whoops, wrong one, R20. And we're going to go right over the top of that. And then R30 to soften it. And then I want to go back over her face with my color. So I'm going to again grab um, E21. And I'm going to start over here. And dab some then on that cheek. And we're going to go down this side, same thing. Just a little bit on that side. And then E00. And we'll go right over the top of that cheek again. And this time we'll go up here around her eye. And then I'm going to take my E00 and just go across the entire thing. And I didn't worry that I colored right over the top of her lips because I'm going to make those a red. And this light brown color is not going to make any world of difference. So for her lips, we're going to use um, R35. So she's got this little top lip up here, so I'm going to go ahead and color that in. careful I get out to the edge there. Okay, and then she's got this bottom lip right here that I want to make be her lip. She's got a little drawn thing on there that I'm just going to make be. And just, you got to kind of fiddle with it. So I'm going to kind of go out a little bit more on this side. And let's bring this side up a little bit more so it doesn't look quite so weird. That's what I'm going to call it, weird. And I think this side over here needs to be a little bit more pointy, so I'm going to switch, turn my pin a little bit here, and go like that. And she's got some nice little red rosy um, lips. Next, let's work on her hair, and for that we're going to use E44, E43, and E42. I'm going to start with my E44, and we're going to add some shadows in, so I'm just going to use the cute little part she's already got up here. And put some streaks with my pin going away from that area on the top of her head. And I also want to add a little bit on this little bang piece she's got right here. Okay, I'm liking that. And then this section is coming out from behind, so I'm going to color this section right next to her face here, like that. And then for each of these little braids where it knots, I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a color right at the end. Like this. And of course where it comes out from the other side of that little bow. And then same for this side. Get the little bow. And then each of the bottom ones. And this one here where it looks like it's coming out from behind. Okay, I'm liking that. Now I'm going to go with my E43, and we're just going to add some more color. So we're going to go up here, add some streaks away from that part. Get up here close to her hat. Try not to color her hat, because her hat's going to be white there on the side. So I'm going to try not to color that. And this little streak for her bangs. And then I'm just going to work my way back down this side. And I think I'll add a little bit right here. So it doesn't look so wonky. And I'm just going to do each little braid section again. Maybe bring this section up a little bit. And I'm going to bring 
bring this section, kind of curve it around up here around that little bang piece. Then I'm going to go with E42 and fill it in. You could leave some white if you like that. I'm just going to fill the rest of her hair sections in with my 42. here towards the top. Oops, missed a little section right here. Now I like to go back after I've done all that and add the dark shadows back in, so I'm going to grab E44 again and just go back and add a few little streaks. You can add as much or as little as you like. And put this section. Oh, and I better not forget a little piece of bang right here. Next, let's work on the top of her hat and her sweater. And for that, we're going to use BG 78, 75, and 72. I'm going to start up here at her hat with BG78 and I'm going to do just a little dab underneath of this bow and down here to the point. Right. And then for this side I'm going to do right next to the bow again and then I want to go right along the top of the hat, the muff part, the little furry part there. And then I'm going to bring this side up that. Then I'm going to go with BG75 and I'm going to fill this section over here in. And then for this side we want to add a little bit more color. And then I'm going to fill it in with my BG72. Next, let's go down here and do our sweater. So again, we're going to start with BG78. Now let's go ahead and do her sleeve over here first. So I'm going to do the bottom of her sleeve. I'm going to come up underneath of her mitten here. Here. And then she's got her elbow crease. We're going to do that. And we're going to go along the kitty's face. And then down here, we want to go underneath her mitten. Like this, and then she's got a ruffle right there, so we're going to skip that. And then over here, we want to go underneath this arm, and then she's got a little pleat right here. I'm going to go down that, and I'm going to do the bottom of this sleeve a little bit. And let's see, let's go right next to her little ponytail braid she's got here that. And then inside where her sleeve is touching her body, I'm going to go next to that and the cat. And along this little scarf here and back down the other side. So I'm going to kind of outline this little section in here. Okay. And I'm going to go with BG75. So I want to um, soften my edge, so I'm going to touch down on top of my 78 and just brush out away from it so that I can just soften the edge of that line a little bit. And we're going to work my way down. Like that. 
same for this side. I'm going to work our way down and get right on that edge there and just soften that line. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to grab my BG72 now to fill it in. This one, I'm going to have to be careful down here. Get those little scallops she's got going on in the bottom of her sweater there. Same for this side. I'm going to get those little scallops. I think I'll turn my girl a little bit here so that I can go down the edge of this line right here so I don't color my scarf even though it'll probably be okay because we're going to make the scarf red and red's pretty good about covering other things up but just to be careful we'll turn her a little bit oops and I colored right over that hair bow but that's okay because we're going to make it red so we'll just make the red darker so that it shows up and we're just going to do this little ruffle right here Yeah, I need to swipe that a little bit more. Okay, and I also use these colors, it looks like, down here on the little bits of shoe that are showing. So I'm going to take my BG78 and do my shoe. She's got a little bit of section that shows right here that's not sole. Give each of those a little dab of color. Like that. And then we're going to go with BG75. Go around that little dot on her shoe. And then BG72 to fill that in. Okay, now let's work on the white parts. So I'm going to start up here at her hat. I'm going to use C1, C0, and C00. And for her hat, I want to go around her face. So let's go right around on her hair here. Okay, but this side, when I go down here towards the bottom, I want to bring it up a little bit, so I'm going to flick my pen out like this. And to flick from this way, I need to go this way. So same thing, I want to lay my pen down and just make a little kind of like check mark motion. Like that. Next, I'm going to grab C0. Same thing, I want to lay down on top of my last color, but I want to flick out like a check mark away from that line. Go over here and do this side. Okay, and then I'm going to use my C00 to um, brush out more. So again, we're just going to go right. And I don't mind that it doesn't go all the way to the top. It's a pretty light color, so you're hardly going to see it. The whole idea is just to feather it out so that it looks like it comes to white out here at the edge. So I'm going to leave the hat like that. I'm going to go down here next and do her glove. So again, I've started with my C1. And I'm going to go underneath the kitty's paw and down this little line that's right there. And then for this glove, I want to do the bottom. And I think I'm going to take this pin actually and do the little check mark thing on the bottom of this glove just to soften that a little bit more. And then I'm going to do C0. and C00 to fill that in. And we're going to use these colors also down here on um, her shoes. So C1. C0.
and C double zero. And then I'm also going to do this little dot right here on her shoe. So I'm going to grab C1 and do a little bit next to her pants and then C0 um, to fill that in. And let's see, what did I do with this little ruffle right here on her shirt? Let's go ahead and do that too. So C1, and um, there's a little section right here that looks like it's underneath, so I'm going to color that. And then I'm going to do a little dab right next to this little scalloped edge. And let's do C0 just to go over that edge just a little bit, just to soften it. And it'll be a light gray color. Let's do her pants next. For that, we're going to use B39, B37, B34, and B32. I'm going to start with my B39. And let's do right along the top of her shirt and down inside of her pant leg like this. And I don't use it very much, so I'm just using the very tip of my pen. You might want to take, if you don't use yours very much either, you might want to take um, the cap off. And actually I think I will because it's looking a little damp of the other end so that it doesn't color everything and make a big blob. Okay, so I've done that. Oh, what I want to do in this little crease right here. Okay, and then for this side, same thing. I want to just go down to the edge where this sweater is. And down her fanny. And then she's got a little crook there where her pants are. And also right here where this heart is, there's a little section where the top of the heart is. I'm going to fill that in with a little bit of blue. Then I'm going to go over this little crease. And do the crease where the little fold for pants are. And let's do along the bottom of this side. And I'm going to bring this side up to this. Okay. Then I'm going to grab B37. And I'm going to fill in where her fanny is. And then I want to soften these lines that I already added. But I'm going to go down the edge of this pant leg here. And just soften these edges. And I think that I will bring this section of her little rolled pants up a little bit. Same for this side. I'm going to flick this out a little bit more. So we got to do over this little loop de loo she's got going on there. Okay, B34 is next. So I'm going to turn her sideways here so I can flick a little bit better. And bring this color out towards this edge over here. Same for this side. Let's bring that out. And then I'm going to take my B32 to fill that in.
let's hop down here and do the wood that she's sitting on. For that, we're going to use E29, E18, E09, E08, and E11. I'm going to start with my E29, and I want to go right next to her body, so I'm going to start right here where her fanny's sitting on the wood, and go right next to that, to clear down here to the bottom. And then I want to give each one of these lines a little dab of color. So I'm just going to trace right on the line. And then for the center here, I'm just going to take my pen and give it a little, like, star shape in the middle. And then, oh, I want to do um, right next to the snow. Okay, same for this side. I want to go down next to her pant leg. And the snow. And then I want to do those lines. I'm just going to fill this one in here in the middle. Next, I'm going to grab E18, and I want to go right over the top of that. So I'm going to just touch down right next to this next color, and just softly go right over the top of that color line, and just extend it out. And same for the center of the log, I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more of to my star. Next we'll do E09, and we're just adding some more color. And add more to our star. Same for this side. Add some E08. And then I want to go over the whole thing with my E11. scarf there. Get up close. Next, let's go work on the kitty. For that, we're going to use W2, W1, W0. For his inside of his ears, we're going to use R20. And for the little bell that he has on, we're going to use um, Y28. So I'm going to start with my W2, and I'm going to color in his belly right here. I'm just going to color it all the way in. And then for his face up here above his nose, I'm going to take my pen and just do some little check marks. And add some color above his nose and around his eye. Like that. Next, I'm going to go with W1, and I want to add a little bit of color to his feet now. So I'm going to add some little bit of color to his foot, and then we want to add more to his face. And I'm going to go down here and add a little bit around his snout. But I left his nose white there, and I better add a little bit to his ears right there. Then I'm going to go with W0 to fill the rest of it in. So I'm going to fill in all of his paws and his face. And it doesn't matter if you color all of his ears in because we're going to make them pink here in a minute. I think I'll go back with my W2 and just add a little bit more dark here in the center of his face. Then I'm going to take my R20 and color in his ear. And my Y28 to color in this bell. Oh, and he's got on a little collar, so we'll get that when we do the reds. 
All right, that leaves us with the reds, and I left them till last because I'm terrible with the reds. It never fails. I always make a mess with it somehow. It stays damp a little bit, and I touch it, and I end up getting it somewhere else. So I leave it to the last thing so that um, I don't have to worry about it. So for red, we're going to use R59, R29, R27, R24, and R22. And I'm going to start with R59, and I'm going to color this cat's collar in real quick. So he's just got a little bit of his collar showing that I'm just going to dab some color on. Next, let's do the heart on her pants. So I'm going to go down the outside of this heart under her little thing, and I'm going to exaggerate the center of this heart just a little bit. Then I'm going to grab R29. And I'm going to do right over the top of the color I just laid down and just add a little bit more. R27. R24. I'm going to fill it all the way in. And then I'm going to take my R22 and just go over the whole thing. And that will kind of um, squish it all together there and lighten it up just a little bit. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab my R or my R59 again. And I'm going to go up here. And on this side of her face, she's got a little bit of her scarf showing. So I'm just going to go ahead and color that in. And there's a little white dot there, too, that I left. And then let's do each of these stripes. And right here next to Kitty's ear. And I'm just going to work my way around. So let's go over here and get underneath of her hat. And there's a little wrinkle right here, so I'm going to go ahead and color that. And then I want to go right now next to her arm. And give it just a little dab of color. Same with this scarf on the back. I'm going to go ahead and use the, I want to use a little bit right next to the edge. And this scarf looks like it has a little wrinkle, so I'm going to color that just a little bit. Next, I'm going to go with R29. And you just want to add some more color. And dab on top of those just a little bit. Maybe go next to her face. And, whoops, I think that was a dot. Oh well. Okay, and we're just going to work our way back down this line and add some more color on there. Okay, and then R27. Looks like a little bit of her scarf showing over here. I'm going to fill that in. And this little dot here that was supposed to be a dot, it's already halfway red. I'm just going to color it all the way in because I'm not going to be able to erase that with my colorless blender. Red is not very friendly for coming off. So we're just going to make it red this time. one just a little bit on this side. Okay, and then R24, and I'm going to fill in this little section of her scarf because there's not much left. And then just come down here and add more color. And then I want to fill it in the rest of the way with my R22. Okay, so I've just got to try to be careful going around all those cute little circles. And work my way up. Oh, here's some white up here. And I want to give this a little swish. 
Okay, like that. And a couple of them I got some um, color on, so I'm going to try to get that off. So here's, I'm going to use my colorless blender on these little, the R22 is not too, it's dark, but it's not quite so bad. It's not as saturated of a color, so that should be able to push some of that off of there. Oh, that worked perfect. Okay, like that. Okay, we'll go up here and do her hat, or her little bow here on her hat. So again, I've grabbed my R59, and let's do, on each side of this little knot, I'm just going to color in these little stripes she's already got on there, little wrinkles in her bow. And I want to do next to where the little tags are coming out. Then I'm going to go with R29. A little bit more color on there. And then R twenty seven. I'm going to add a little bit to the center part there. And then next is R24. I'm going to fill the center section in. And just work my way around here. And then I'm going to fill them in the rest of the way with my R22. So there's our beautiful Whimsy Stamp um, Skippy D and Bella all colored up. Doesn't she look very fabulous? And again, here's the finished card. And if you want one of these, I will make sure to head over to the store and grab one up because they are limited and they, are, won't, be, they won't last very long, I don't think, because she's super cute. If you have a question about today's coloring, go ahead and leave me a comment and I will get back to you. I'm happy to do that. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you can make sure to get all the newest videos. Also for this girl, I put some Spica Clear Gooder Pin in her hair, and I did some Stickle Stardust on all these little circles on her scarf and her hat up here. I don't know if you can see the sparkles there when you um, wag her around. I also, for her eyes, they didn't stamp as dark as I wanted. So I colored them in with my Copic Multiliner and then added my white dots back in so that she'd have really bright eyes. So thanks for coloring with me today, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.